With just uh, two months to go until the Platinum Jubilee, one group of entertainers from the West is busy rehearsing its part for the London pageant in front of Her Majesty the Queen. Cirque Bijou has been practising in a former aircraft hangar at Filton and Ali Vowles has been to see them in action. A display fit for the Queen and over this week these performers are giving it their all to make sure it works whilst on the move. They're using a specially adapted float and it'll be surrounded by performers on the ground. It's been about a year in the planning and we've got the entire castle with about 120 people. But we're doing all the technical this week to make sure we can do things safely. We've got a trampoline on a truck that's moving down the street and we've got six trampolines flying up and down at the same time and also bikes leaping off that and dancers all around it to, and wheelchair users doing amazing things at the back. So it's a lot of things to coordinate. Cirque Bijou has chosen performers from around the world who are at the top of their game. Like Styx, the acrobatic dancer with crutches, his upper body strength is just incredible. I've been like dancing like since I was a little child. It's just like extensions for my like for my hands. And what I don't have on my legs, it's just actually up in my upper body. So and yeah, the crutches are like, you know, just like we melting, we melt together. But just think, don't forget, on the day all of this is being done whilst on the move. This is all fixed and this doesn't change. So as long as we're focused on the wall and what we're doing, we will stay in the position. We've had to tighten up a little bit to be more sort of strong in the, on the bed of the trampoline so that we don't ping off, especially on uh, corners as we go around. Every single performer has to be in time with the music. These street dancers will be alongside the float, along with these extreme BMX riders who think nothing of jumping from vehicle to vehicle. These brothers are pretty confident they can keep to the rhythm too. Our sister's a professional dancer, so we've been dragged to every professional dance yeah, show we've since got we were some background. teeny tiny kids and we're used to the eight count more than everybody else. <laughs> Well, slowly, slowly, it is all coming together. And all these artists, 120 of them, on the float, off the float, going over the float, will be appearing before the Queen in the Grand Parade, which will be televised on June the 5th by the BBC. Ali Rouse, BBC Points West, in Bristol.